What's a rough puff pastry? Well, hopefully, by the time we finish this, you're gonna know. Oh, look at that beauty. That. That smell is mm, 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 nice. So, an old favorite of mine. Beef and onion pie. I'm gonna make this really oniony today because that's the way I like it. That's the way the cookie crumbles for me today. So what we're doing is taking two onions. You see they're quite big onions. You peel those and chop them up. Friday here. I'd like to say the sun is shining, but it's not. Put them in a pan. Lots of them. I think that the best thing about a good beef and onion pie like this is the gravy but everybody's different you see I've gone at maximum chat at the moment just to get them started as soon as I start to hear any deposit beef Minced beef. Something about mince that I really like. Okay. I think it's because you can make so much from beef. I know there's a lot of people that don't agree, but hey, this is cooking. my way not anybody else's way okay so we've got uh beef cooking away in there two stock cubes i uh, just basically squashed them what do i do to start off with and that Leon Perrin's Worcester sauce. We'll have a squirt of that in there because that's also something like pepper. Yep, we we'll maybe have some pepper in there. that on there to do what it's gonna do I'm not really too worried about cooking this too much because it's gonna end up in a pie anyway look at all those lovely onions nice I'll leave that to simmer for a while and put the oven on at 180 degrees um, because that's all we're going to need. Now, I'm going to give you a bit of a cheat here for a pastry, which is a rough puff pastry. Now, I know you're asking, what's a rough puff pastry? Well, hopefully, by the time we finish this, you're going to know. Time for the trusty bowl and my favorite piece of kit the scales okay so what i'm gonna do put that in there 250 grams flour oh, i can smell those onions cooking 
175 grams butter this has got to be cube oh that's definitely it 175 grams of butter and pinch of salt and some lemon pinch of salt there we go we're going to eliminate the lemon because I can't find any in the kitchen right so that is the basis for your pastry and all I'm going to do is I'm going to do this I'm going to roughly chop up the pastry like this mix it in with the flour like that I'm not going to rub it in like you would a normal pastry because this is a cheating one okay. as you can see that's not really what your class has been very flourish is it 100 20 milliliters of cold water or until it binds together put some in we'll put a bit more in and then mix and mix and mix not with your hand you don't want to make this so it's you want to be touching this as little as possible it's 120 round boys and girls now just make sure I'm going to squash all this up maybe I need just a touch more water let's go for just a touch out right there in it I want to empty my bowl that's what your bowl should look like when you made it just like that little flower spread it around spread the flower love okay okay now what size am I going to make this Do, 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 do. Oi. Okay. Nice. I can have a big thick crust on this. Right, pastry made. Put that over there. The trusty pie dish. So we take two mushrooms, slice them, leave them in the box. There we go. Mushrooms sliced and in. Look at that. Just the way I wanted it. Right now. Whack this in there. Oh, that's 
smell is gorgeous. A little gravy. If you could only smell what I can smell now. Right. Let's hope this is going to be the right sort of, oops, toys. Maybe. Yep. Almost. You see the way that the, the um, pastry is all You see the butter in it, which is exactly what I wanted. I mean, that's the whole point of this, really, because the butter itself, what it does is it gives um, layers for air. When the, the pastry is cooking, it creates layers in the pastry which should give you a fairly good facsimile of um, a puff pastry let's have some spiky bits in the top you don't see many pastry brushes like this beat one egg Oh, yeah. Come on, baby. There is my slightly uneven pie. Put it in the oven. Uh, I think it's going to take around about 45 minutes um, until my pastry is nice and crispy. In the meantime, it's up to you what you have with your pie. Who am I to say? But my own personal preference is mashed potato because I absolutely love potato. And also, um, because it's got gravy in this pie, then what better place to put your gravy than on your mashed potatoes? So in the oven it goes, and I'll see you when it comes out. Oh, I'm gonna do more potatoes. Um, before this gets done. All right, see you later. Well, people, here we go. Are you ready for a surprise? Okay. One, two, three. Oh, look at that beauty. that is nice looking now let's put it on a plate that a smell is mm, 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 nice <laughs>